This is a human, an ordinary human. The human body is made up of billions of cells. These cells are very tiny and can only be seen under a microscope. They make up our tissues and this includes our blood. This is a story about one of those cells called a T cell and how this little cell found out what it's supposed to do to work together with other cells when our bodies get sick. One day this cell was roaming around the blood vessels with all these little red blood cells zipping by when suddenly it heard an alarm. Attention all cells, attention all cells. There is an invader in the body. We must protect our human. Report to your stations. Station? Where's my station? I have no idea where to go. Maybe if I make friends with one of these cells, they can help me find it. And so he sees this very odd cell with long extensions approaching him. And he said, excuse me, excuse me. And the strange cell said, yes, what is it? I'm afraid I don't have much time to chat. I'm sure you heard the alarm, there's an invasion. Oh wait, let me see if you are one of us. And so this strange cell, which is called a dendritic cell, starts to tap on the T cell. The T cell says, what are you doing? The dendritic cell says, I'm checking to see who you are. You never know who can be trusted when the alarm goes off. Oh, you're a T cell. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize it was you, boss. I'm getting right to work. I'm sure I'll see you soon. The dendritic cell speeds off, leaving the T cell rather confused. The T cell says, I wonder why that cell called me boss. It seems like I have a big job to do, but I need to learn more first. That cell was in too much of a hurry to answer my questions. And then the T cell moves along the blood vessel and encounters another strange cell that looks kind of serious and not very friendly. So the T cell says, maybe I can make friends with this cell. Excuse me. And then the cell replies, hey, what do you want? I don't have time to stick around. Didn't you hear the alarm? The T cell says, well, yes, I did. That's why I wanted to see if you could help me. I'm new here and I'm not quite sure where I need to go. Hmm. Well, let me check first if you are one of us. And so the NK cell, which is what it's called, taps the T cell again, just like the other cell did suspiciously. And then says, oh, it looks like you are a new T cell. I'm sorry, I can't stay in chat. I've got to answer the alarm, but I'll see you in the lymph node, boss. And then the T cell says, wait, where's the lymph node? But the NK cell already rushed away, leaving the T cell to say, goodness, it's not really easy to make friends around here. I wonder where I have to go to this lymph node. Both these cells I met seem to know I have an important job to do, so I better get there fast. Maybe one of these red blood cells can help me. Excuse me, excuse me, but the red blood cells were zipping by so quickly. Excuse me! And then finally a group of them stopped long enough and said, Yes, what can we do for you? Excuse me, can you, any, can you tell me where to get to the lymph node or how to get to the lymph node? Lymph node, lymph node, you have to leave the blood vessel. See that path over there? And then they point in the other direction. Take that path and follow the duct until you reach the lymph node. The T cell says, can you show me the way? And the red blood cells reply, no, we are not allowed over there. Don't worry, you'll figure it out. And the T cell says, okay, thanks. So then the T cell moves further down the blood vessel and encounters a duct and thinks, okay, this must be it. This must be how I get to the lymph node. And so he starts to move into the duct and encounters this huge cell another very strange cell, and this one is called a macrophage, and sees him eating something. And the T cell says, wow, that cell looks really hungry. I hope he doesn't eat me. Maybe it can help me. Excuse me, sir. Is this the way to the lymph node? Who are you? No one shall pass without me saying so. And then the macrophage taps the T cell like the other cells did. Oh, hello, boss. I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. Yes, sir, the lymph node is straight that way. You will have no problem finding it. Now, in the process of tapping the T cell, the macrophage left some particles on the T cell that he had been eating before and then just happened to leave behind. The T cell says, thank you for your help. Say, why do you call me boss? Everybody I met today is calling me that. 
And the macrophage says, well, yes, of course, you're a T cell, aren't you? And the T cell says, yeah, but isn't this, is this supposed to mean something? The macrophage says, sorry, I gotta get back to work because the alarm went off and we have an invasion, but you will find the answers over there at the lymph node. As for me, I need to clean up messes. Good luck, boss. The T cell says, thank you. So the T cell continues up the duct and starts to see a maze of channels and slowly makes his way through all the other cells traveling in the ducts. Quite a variety of cells. He then says to himself, I really hope that macrophage was right and I find my answers once I get to the lymph node. Everyone seems like this is an urgent invasion. So finally, the T cell enters the lymph nodes and sees many other T cells like himself as well as smaller B cells inside of these resting places. And he says, wow, this is amazing. So many cells in here. I hope I can find a friend who will answer all my questions. So when he looks at these different little blue spots, um, these different cells, which are called B cells, he notices that each one has different color spots. He sees one particular old B cell that has the same color spots that were given to him by the macrophage. And he sends a signal to that cell and says, excuse me, I was hoping you could help me out. And as this cell wakes up, and it seems like he's a very old cell, the T cell says, I was told to come here to the lymph node, but I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Then the B cell, as they're called, emerges from his little slumber and says, ah, my dear T cell, you are the reason we all do our jobs the way we do and keep our human alive. And the T cell says, really? And the B cell says, oh yes, in fact, years ago, there was another invader in our human and the alarm went off just like it's doing today. It was a big invasion and many cells didn't make it. But there was a T cell like yourself that got all of the other immune cells to work together to fight off the invaders. Thanks to that one famous T cell's leadership, our human survived. So my friend, this is why everyone has been calling you boss. Without T cells like you, we would not be able to protect our humans from invasions. The T cell said, that's great, what's your job? The B cell said, well, that's the thing, I've never done my job before. All of us here have been waiting for the day we were chosen to fight off an invader. So in all these years, you're the first T cell that has picked me. Thank you so much, and let's go after the invaders. And the T cell said, wow, so I'm the only one who could wake you up? And the B cell said, yes, it's because you had something on your hand when you tapped me, it's called an antigen. And so the T cell placed a comforting hand on the B cell and said, I'm glad we could be friends. But while he's tapping the B cell, another dendritic cell comes from behind and gives the T cell, or sorry, the B cell an antigen. Then all of a sudden, the B cell starts to glow and there's this huge flash of light. After this, the old B cell feels invigorated and starts to divide again and again creating these new B cells. And then at this point, the T cell realizes something. Oh my goodness, you were all the friends I needed this whole time. I know exactly what I need to do now. Let's get the team together. And so everybody gathers in the situation room in the lymph node and the T cell says, okay team, an invader has been identified here. And he points to the arm. Here in the upper right arm of our human, we need to go there and we need to take our response team to clear out the invader and any cells that may, may have been infected. This is our chance to make a difference. And the cells cheer, yay boss. All right, let's go team, to the arm. And so the B cells that had divided start to speed away and head over to the arm. As the T cell starts to exit, he notices that the B cell that he made friends with isn't following and asks, aren't you coming with us? The B cell says, no, Captain, my job is here. I made those copies of myself to help you fight off this invader, but I'm a memory cell. My job is to remember everything that has happened this day in case this invader ever comes back. I'm sure we will see you again. And so the T cell said, thank you, friend. We couldn't have done it without you. After that, the B cell crawls back into his little place to sleep, falls asleep, and the T cell runs off and heads down the lymphatic duct. 
following the B cells that had already left, making their way to the arm. So eventually he makes it to the site where the invasion was occurring. There he could see the B cells already at work alongside the macrophages and NK cells all gobbling up the invaders. We can see the B cells, the blue cells, releasing Y-shaped black antibodies and these things, these antibodies will stick to the invaders making it easier for the macrophages to eat them. During this time, a macrophage, which is kind of tired, approaches the T-cell. Hello boss, thank goodness you're here. Thanks for bringing more help. The T-cell replied confidently, yep, that's my job, what can you report? The macrophage says, well, we've been eating these things up. The antibodies made by the B-cells stick to the invaders and it really helps. Then the T-cell said, where did the invaders come from? The macrophage said, well, sir, a huge shiny pointy thing entered our human's arm and then all the invaders came out of it. That's when we sounded the alarm. But here's the thing, boss, there are no dead cells. No one has been hurt. The T-cell replied, that's strange. What does that mean? The macrophage said, I don't know, but these invaders don't move around. They just sit there and we eat them up. Gradually, the cell team clears away all the little invaders and the T-cell calls the team together again and they all have a conference afterwards. The T-cell says, great job team, thank you for everything you have done today to protect our human. I'm surprised no one was hurt. We can cancel the alarm now and you can all go and rest. And the cells cheer, yay! And even a grumpy NK cell grudgingly admits, we couldn't have done it without you boss. And so the T-cell along with the other cells make its way back to the lymph node and he feels very confident and he eventually finds his friend, the B-cell, again. Weeks later, we find the T-cell and the B-cell relaxing in the lymph node, watching reruns of their great adventure on TV. But then, they hear this loud cough, cough sound, and the T-cell says to the B-cell, Huh? Was that a cough? Was that our human? Just at that moment, the alarm goes off. Attention all cells, there's an invader in our human's nose. Please report to your stations. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. And so the B and T cells jump out of their lawn chairs and race to gather the team. Let's go B, we got this. And so we, we see the nose of our human host. And looking up the nose, which isn't very pleasant, we see the virus particles taking hold inside the nose and invading our host. Tune in next week when we will see just how our B cells and T cells will handle a real invasion, a real infection. And they will all be able to do their jobs to help keep our human bodies safe. Thank you. I'd like to thank Hannah for her great help and thank you all for um, listening in on this program.